twa, twa, twa. It do not matter. Clip on the ruga, look like a ruler. Okay, so I'm back. And before the video starts, greatly appreciate it. When you want to react, so please like, comment, and subscribe. So in this video, we have Krishan, Tasiki, um, Natalie, Big Lex, and Stunner Girl. Okay. This past weekend, there was this topic of Krishan missing Tasiki, right? She posted a bunch of pictures, not even a bunch, she posted a couple pictures on Snapchat of her Tasiki. Everybody feel like Krishan misses Tasiki. I'm gonna lie, I'm kind of shocked, but I'm kind of not. The last time I seen Krishan say anything about Tasiki, it was like this girl on TikTok basically talking about how like Tasiki fake and stuff like that. Krishan, she uh, commented facts, but that was like two, two, three weeks ago. So Krishan has a new show, right? And this post been in my phone for a while, but like I'm cleaning my phone out. I'm cleaning it out. We're gonna go through everything. He said, I'm done making money for my ops. Be on the lookout for my own show on Channel E. Now, now she on a whole new network. So like, who's the ops? Zeus? Like, so you're done with Zeus? Because like Krishan, I, I don't want you to be done with Zeus. Because I honestly, I feel like we need to do this season. And then the... If I'm being honest, it's not like she can't do her show and baddies at the same time. Like, you can. Like, you can work on two different networks. Relly did it. He was working on Zeus and Now That's TV. Wasn't he? Was that the same Was that the same time or different times? When he was the host on Now That's TV for the reunion? I don't know. But Sukiyana, she would, wherever Love and Hip Hop is, I don't, VH1, I don't, I don't know. But she would them and Zeus at the same time to have Stunner Girl and Big Lex. Now, a couple days ago, Big Lex, she went online talking shit about Stunner Girl and she brought up her husband a couple of times. Stunner Girl, she's like still clapping back. She's like, imagine you have a man, but you had to go call the police when stuff got sticky, you know what I'm saying? And she talked about um how she don't take care of her kids. Closet, but I do got something to say real quick. Y'all can't bring up no broke ass bitch that don't take care of her mother kids. Y'all bitches, that's what I don't like. Be, be trying to sit here, act like they so mother rich. Your most desperate situation was not there for you. You gotta go. You had to resort to calling the police. Ain't that some mother Imagine being a nigga and being with a nigga every day. And when you out there getting your ass whooped, you can't even call that nigga. You gotta call the police before you call the nigga. Ain't that some I'll be like these hoes. <laughs> I, I would have, I would have been fighting with my nigga as soon as I got home. Like, what the fuck you mean, bitch? I would be mad if I couldn't call my nigga bitch, and I had to call the police, bitch. You know? I, I play too much, huh? <laughs> and then it be, it be so funny to me because then it be like. How you saying uh, the only thing a nigga could do is get on his knees, right? But you standing on your 10 toes, bitch, 10 bunions to the pavement. I'm talking about high heels on your tippies, squaring up and royal rumbling with every, with every single over the nigga. But bitches act like they don't care about a nigga. No, bitch, the nigga don't care about you. That's what the, the real tea. You hear what I'm saying? Like... Let me shut the up. Then Stunner Girl was showing off her chain. I think it's a new chain. And she was like, take big out your name because your chain little. Right? Then she posted big legs and neck. She was like, my first cube that I brought was four times bigger. It's giving thin stainless steel necklace, the 1500 special. Then she said, chain little, house little, purse little, money little, you're broke. That was it. Then this Natalie non-stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know where this came from because I didn't see anybody talking about it. But apparently she did. But uh, let's read it. Natalie made a post saying, One thing about y'all, you will bash your working mom. But if I turn around and bash the way your kid need a whole lot, then I'm wrong. So let's do this. You worry about your kids, I'm going to worry about continuing to set journey up as a trust fund baby. Her college tuition at USC, the private school I went to and graduated from, is already paid in advance. Meanwhile, I'm on the board and paying other kids' tuitions with donations because their parents, uh, you know what, never mind. Moral of the story, worry about yours. Where did this even come from? Because I didn't see anybody talking about this lady being a bad mom. Especially yesterday. Is that it? Why? You know what? Because it's kind of giving you made up a scenario in your head to, like, try to put us off. But it's like we did not forget. Right? And I don't I don't remember no one saying that she was a bad mom. Because I could be tripping. Also, I could just not have seen what she said. So, I'm a... But it's like, I didn't see it. To me, it's kind of giving change the narrative. But I could be wrong. Anyway, she said, and let's normalize successful, hardworking boss moms. Because that's exactly what I am. Period. End of story. 
amazing, amazing. But it's like, when who was bashing working moms? I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. Now look, if people is out here bashing working moms, that's weird. That's hell. People. How the fuck is the kid supposed to be taken care of if the mom isn't working or the dad is not working? Like, make it make sense. Then she said, meanwhile, back at the house, Journey wanted a swimming pool for Christmas in her backyard. I didn't know me hustling and adding value to Journey's home and working my behind off to pay cash for a $400,000 swimming pool was such an issue. Sound like a bunch of broke bums mad they ain't got the hustle in them. That's, there's nothing wrong with working moms slash ladies. It's okay. Don't let anyone or society tell you it's not. Like, damn, do she want the whole amusement park? Why is the pool $400,000? Do they cost that much? I don't think so. I don't even think pools with the little razzle-dazzle with the little slide and then the little, you know, the little big rock system. I don't even think them joints is four hundred. dollars What kind of pool she want? I can't even tell y'all who's, like, she's responding to. I don't know who, what. Oh, do y'all think she thinks? No, no, she ain't thinking that. I don't think so, but I don't know who she's talking about, who she's responding to, but that's the end of this video, so if you found it interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications, and thank you.